Usually we'll leave the beacon light on at all times. Flaps are coming down. What up guys? Joe's with Rebel Saving Organics. We are headed to Palmer. It's raining out, but uh, I'm still going. We're headed to the airport. We're gonna stop by Blue River Aviation. And we're gonna go, well, I said we we're gonna go fly some airplanes. We're not flying airplanes today. It is terrible weather, but I had scheduled a test flight for today. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a pilot. I haven't flown in like six years, so it's been a long time. But it's been uh, over two years since I had a stroke. Uh, the FAA grounds you for at least two years post-stroke. So I'm within the time frame allowed to get back into the air, and I am a pilot. So I figured, why not? So I found a flight school local. I say it's local, it's like 35 minutes away from it, it's not close, but um, local, local enough, and I'm driving to it right now. Surprisingly good distance away, I didn't realize how far away it was. <laughs> I wanted to get there like 3.30, it looks like I'm not going to get there till like 3.45. That's not ideal, but we're not flying anyway, so it don't really matter. I'm going to be able to meet the instructor check out the facilities, maybe see their airplanes, see if they got any uh, flight simulators. You know, we're just gonna go check it out. Um, yeah, I got a basic med. I'll, I'll just tell you the story. I went to the AME in Anchorage to try and get a flight physical done. Because I had a stroke, they would not do the flight physical. Uh, she didn't want to do it and then have a a failure on my record because they would they wouldn't approve it if I would have applied because of the stroke um, so she just didn't even submit it she just had told me to go get a basic med until I can get they require a neurological exam to send to the VA or not the VA the FAA and uh, once you've done that then they they'll they, they want to check and make sure that you're okay I guess where they'll issue you a FAA, I don't know, flight medical. I don't know why. I don't know why I can have a basic med, but I can't have. I Anyways, I got to jump through some hoops to get a, a real medical done by the AME. So I got what's called a basic med. You go on the AOP website, AOPA website. You take this little course, and then you go get a, a medical examination from your primary doctor and they fill out a document for the FAA I don't remember the form number but um, it's easy to find online and then you have what's called a basic med uh, you can't fly IFR you can't fly fast like I think there's a 250 knot rule you can't go over 250 knots you can't fly over 14,000 feet but none of those things are things that I wanted to do anyways so it works out perfect I didn't intend on going too high I don't plan on going far. I'm not gonna ever fly in bad weather. Like, we're not flying today. Um, I'm still headed there just because I want to meet everybody, but I would never fly in this. I'm only interested in flying in nice, clear clear weather. So, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here, share that. I'm gonna keep driving, and uh, I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. All right, it looks like we're gonna go do some pattern work. We're at Blue River Aviation. This is the box for the airplane we're flying. 4714 box shot. And uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go buzz around it looks like. So it appears that the airplanes are not stored near River Aviation. The hangar is behind me and I'm following the instructor over to 
where they store the airplanes, I suppose. So I gotta go check in there. You grab the can and then you come over to the airplane and check it out. And uh, I guess we're gonna do some pattern work. We're gonna go flying anyways. I didn't think we'd be doing any flying, but looks like they're ready to get in the air. So screw it, let's go. We're gonna go fly, I guess. And here's all the birds. All right, here we go. I've got to come back and look at it. So we're gonna fly this bird today. Four one four seven one four Foxtrot. It's raining, but she doesn't seem to mind. And so we're gonna go. Do a pre-flight. Because don't we usually start in the airplane? Um, Turning everything on, check in. Uh, like documentation? I check the documentation when we're done. But yeah, uh, when we check the lights, we'll put that on with the double flaps. Typically, we'll leave the beacon light on at all times. <laughs> Flaps are coming down. Yeah, I see the strobe. Yeah. Dang, it's been so long since I've done one of these. It's crazy. I used to be able to just do this by memory almost. Yeah. Now I feel like I haven't done this at all. Okay, so where's this fuel checker? Or did it, did it say how much fuel we had in there? Right here. on this side. Oops. Plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel to go buzz around this pattern. Alright, I'm going to turn this one off and I'm going to knock this pre-flight out and we're going to go fly some airplanes. I'll be back. All right, guys, we successfully did a bunch of landings. Not sure how many landings, but we did a bunch of them here. Clouds came in on us. There's pretty much no one in the pattern. It was just us. So that worked out pretty good. I still remember how to fly, kind of. My landings weren't uh, perfect, but they weren't super bad either. So could be worse. Freaking awesome. See you later. Very cool. We got, you can see over there, there's a, you can't see it, but there's a glacier over there. So while, the whole time I was flying, I'm able to see the glacier. <laughs> Freaking awesome, man. Flying airplanes. I didn't uh, have the GoPro. I had it with me, but I didn't have like, I had my GoPro with me, but I just didn't have the uh, suction cup or the wire to hook it into the airplane uh, radio. So, but she says that uh, she thinks I did it okay. Uh, my landings weren't very good, but they weren't like bad. They were good enough. Um, <laughs> I think I was scared her a little bit. But uh, I kept 
pulling up the nose. I'll dive it down and then pull it up. Like I was porpoising in my landings. But we got it done. Clouds came in on us. We still managed to get a bunch of landings done. And uh, ha! We back in the sky. We back in the sky. Too freaking cool. All right, we gotta drive back over to where they have their hangar. And I'll go ahead and take a little video of what it looks like in there. This airport is amazing. The views out here, unreal. Unreal how nice it is out here. So cool. I'm so glad I got back in the airplane. It's been way too long. I, should, I shouldn't have waited this long. That was awesome. I forgot how much I like that. <laughs> it's hard, like I think that's why I like it, because it's hard. It's not easy to fly an airplane and land it well, like at all. If, I wish it was easy, but it's not. So, pretty cool. And here we are. So this is the inside, the inside uh, Blue River Aviation. I got a pretty decent hangar right over here behind me to do maintenance. I also got the Redbird flight simulator. So we can get into this full motion simulator. And uh, that'll be cool. Wind did some flying. We weren't able to do any maneuvers because we had to stay in the pattern. So we, we only did landings. But uh, we did 1.8 hours, it's $190 an hour, plus 75 an hour for the instructor. So quite a bit, but we got it done. Check out Blue River Aviation. They're located in Palmer at 720 East Yukon. And the views are epic out here, let me tell you. Yeah, it was a little more expensive than I expected. I expected it to be like uh, 150 an hour, but it wasn't, it was 190 an hour wet. Plus 75 an hour for the instructor, not too crazy. I'm gonna walk over here and show you the, the back side of the, the hangar. Got some planes over here. Runway 10 goes that way, 34 goes this way. <laughs> Flying airplanes, man, that was pretty cool. I'm glad we got back in the air. I needed to do that. It's been way, way too long since I've done that. So I'm happy. Let's go home. We got another flight scheduled for tomorrow because we weren't able to go do any like maneuvers because of the weather. So I'm gonna go back out. This time I'll bring my suction cup for the GoPro. So we'll get some onboard footage. <laughs> so y'all can see how terrible my landings were. <laughs> Anyways, until tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all later. Like and subscribe, please. <laughs>